I'm home. I bought goodies. <sighs> oh. All right. That's it. Come on. You, me, living room floor, hot tea, tissues, and these mini marshmallows. No. No, they're not for the tea. <laughs> Come on. You've been miserable for days. Let's indulge ourselves for a little bit. Maybe watch a movie, drink some tea and cry. Crying is good for you. <laughs> yeah, you feel kind of gross while it happens, but you feel better after you get a bunch of snot on my sleeve. <laughs> oh, come on. It's not that bad. You should know that having snot on my sleeve is the ultimate badge of a good best friend. <laughs> so let's go. Oh, but first, the tea. Okay, uh, pick the most obscure one, one you haven't had in a while. <laughs> Why? Ah, they're your tea leaves, dear. They'll tell me your future. <laughs> no, because you need a change in a lot of things. A change in tea for today is a good start. Oh, dragon fruit sounds like an amazing choice. Two sugars? Mm -hmm. Three, my, my bad. <sighs> okay. What's been going on? It hasn't been this bad in a while. Oh, yes, it's bad. I can tell. I am your bestie, remember? So what's wrong? Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Yes. <sighs> oh, well, oh, honey, no. Yeah, I know the reason you decided not to date. He's moving. And he's with someone else now? Oh, that's such a low blow. Let me see the text. Okay. I think I may have just become more than a friend with someone yesterday. I wasn't sure what was going on, but now I think I understand better. I thought I should tell you. Oh, that's so stupid. They're making it seem like it wasn't their fault. You called me freaking out because they sent you a pic of them shirtless, asking what you thought about it. They had been hinting at it for weeks. Of course, because the both of you dragged it out of each other, you finally said how much you liked each other, and then they basically rejected you because they were moving, and... Oh, hey, 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 I'm sorry. I didn't mean it that way, I just... Mm. Hey, 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 it's going to be okay. We needed to talk about that anyway. I love you a lot, you know that? Yeah, there are so many reasons why your close friends are with you. You give your 100% to everyone, even when they don't really deserve it. When I'm hurting, the only thing you do for weeks, maybe even months, is make sure that I'm okay. And if I'm not okay, you're there with me every step of the way. I adore you for that. But you do that with people who don't deserve it. Like like this asshole. You confess to them once, and they rejected you then. And honestly, for a minute, you're right. The second time, it would have worked, but they're leaving soon. I'll give you credit for not letting yourself go into a relationship that wouldn't last, but... Honey, you, you should have dropped them as soon as they didn't hold themselves accountable. They didn't even apologise. No, they led you on and made you feel like they wanted to be with you and then just dropped it. You are not one to be trifled with. You are fucking amazing and you want to be untouchable and you should be. 
The first step to being the strong, capable person I know you can be is not letting yourself be a doormat. There are people who let others walk all over them and when they can't handle it anymore, they break. And I don't want that for you. (laughs) That's the last thing you need right now. There are people who don't even deserve your 50%, so don't give them your 100. Save that for people who matter, okay? You're running out of steam. I can see you breaking from the inside out, and I knew you wouldn't tell me, but thank God I've learned how to see when you're hurting. No, no, no. You don't get any mini marshmallows until you pinky promise me that you won't let that asshole walk on you if you decide to be friends, that is. Pinky promise me, Rumi. This is how we work, and you know it. Pinky promises have been sacred since ancient times. (laughs) How ancient. Since the year 2000, when we were both five-year-olds, Pinky promising not to tell anyone our secret of cutting our hair by ourselves. <laughs> Look, so Pinky promise me, right now, you're going to do your best not to let people walk on you. <sighs> Good. Now, let's watch The Mandalorian and freak out over how cute Baby Yoda is. Sound good? Good. (laughs) Yes. Yes, you can have the goodies now. Hey, you want to hear a joke? (laughs) Knock, knock. You. Yoo-hoo, a big summer blowout. (laughs) <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't help myself. Um, <laughs> look, I'm going to go get the tea. You fire up the Disney Plus amazingness. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I love you, bestie. <laughs>